one new option that we have in Openers Designer Connect Edition uh, 2018 Update 4 and later is to create a void component within a template. So what I have created right now is a circular component and I'm going to create a void inside of this circular component. Uh, so this will allow us to cut out shapes. So what we're going to do is place a, another circular component. So I'm going to right click, add component, circle, and I'm going to use the same origin point. And I'm just going to adjust this radius. And you'll see that it's placed this, this circular component and we have our outside circular component. So to be able to create a void shape, a void must be a closed shape. Uh, so this circle is a closed shape. So it can be set as a void. So first I want to open the properties of this component. And you'll notice that there are no options for creating this as a void. And the reason is because uh, in addition to being a closed shape, it must also have a parent component assigned. Because it needs to know what shape we're going to be voiding this shape from. So for the parent component I'm going to use my selector. I'm going to select my outer circle and as soon as I set that parent component you'll see that this void shape and the create void mesh option becomes available. So I'm going to toggle on the void shape and say apply and as soon as I apply you'll see that it voids out that material for that component. So if we were to apply this template, uh, it would be placed down the center of this circle to create a cylindrical shape. And there will be a mesh for the outside, and there will be a mesh for this component on the inside. And this entire inside area here will be voided from that shape. Uh, now this does not only apply to circular components. Um, as I said before, this can also be uh, voids based on other components. So if we come out and place a constrained component and we'll just place a, a square or, or a rectangle and finish and then I'm going to place another constrained component inside of that. We'll finish that and then for my component I need to set my parent component to be the outside shape and I'm going to toggle on the option for void shape and you'll notice that the closed shape option is toggled on. When we say apply, it is going to void that shape out. Now it is possible to create a voided shape that does go to the outside of a component, but that is not advised, uh, mainly because these meshes that we're creating, there can be conflict that gets created, so we want to make sure that our voids fall completely inside of the parent component.